Oh, yeah. How you doing there, Skeeter? Listen up and listen good. Since the beginning of recorded history, the white man's been coming up with technologies, cultures, civilizations worth keeping, worth saving, worth giving a damn about. Thank you, white man, for inventing the computer, the microwave, medicine, electricity, sanitation, theory of evolution, the radio, the pencil, Western law, cotton candy, freedom of speech, the sewing machine, discovery of DNA, the atom, discovery of the cell, the camera, Christless, and we was Cain. This work hangs. Thank you, white people. Thank you for creating a society where people don't shit in the street or beat their kids all day. And thank you for letting us use your pristine, clean emergency rooms. And thank you for all the free money. Oh, and by the way, did you know I'm one-eighth Hopi Indian? I don't give a fuck about that. Excuse me, Mr. Yuhu. Hi, hi. Um, thanks for giving women the vote. <laughs> What happened to your boulder, Goy? I don't know. I wasn't looking. Next thing I knew, boulder's gone. I guess I'm a stupid Goy. <laughs> You're white. Mm -hmm. Okay, so anyone who has engaged with the alt-right online um, has been harassed, uh, humiliated, terrorized by them, will eventually run into the image of Sam Hyde. Uh, particularly... Uh, you would have probably run across a meme where Sam Hyde was uh, depicted as a mass shooting suspect. That's one of their big. That's one of his big uh, memes, and it's, it's kind of an it's kind of a very old, outdated GamerGate meme. Uh, Sam Hyde is someone who uh, built a a comedy persona online. Uh, within the parameters of the alt-right when the the moral mission of the alt-right was still heavily veiled behind um, irony. Um, these uh, vestigial clowns uh, are nowadays called uh, irony bros. Irony bros are alt-writers who want to go back into the closet of sarcasm with their beliefs and believe that they will get more done for the white race by hiding behind their fundamental uh, eraser phrase from that era, which is whenever you would actually call them out on racism or anti-Semitism or any of that stuff, um, they would default to it's just a meme, bro. Uh, I think enough of the people from within the movement have come out uh, for uh, racism with a straight face and come out for nationalism and fascism with a straight face that the idea that they could actually go back uh, behind the veil of irony uh, or memes or, or any of that stuff uh, is, is highly uh, dubious. Even their memes are very sort of explicitly um, propagandistic these days. It, it's, it's very kind of... I think it, it, that was uh, inevitable. You can't have a traditional culture movement that uh, remains in the nihilistic irony state. Uh, at some point, if you're going to be proposing fascism, uh, you need to uh, get real. Uh, you need to uh, give people a, a narrative that is earnest, you know, and that takes itself seriously because you can't just you can't just joke around. Uh, forever when you're trying to uh, build a nation. So, um, Hyde Wars uh, is the program as it exists today, but back in the day, uh, Sam Hyde was big on YouTube with a program called uh, Million Dollar Extreme, or at least it was the brand of their channel where they made all these uh, subversive uh, 
politically incorrect uh, shorts. Uh, but unlike someone like H3 or PewDiePie or uh, iDubbbz or Filthy Frank, if you've been on YouTube long enough to remember Filthy Frank, um, this was a, a legitimate fascist hiding behind the mask of an edgelord um, and, and using the mask of irony and, and, and uh, uh, edgy humor to deliver uh, earnest sentiments of white nationalism. Uh, and, it, and it was just, it was breeded as usual. It was bred, excuse me, breeded. It was bred on YouTube by people like uh, Ethan, Ethan Klein of H3H3 and uh, iDubbbz who made the supreme value of their comedy edge. And this edgy humor was fundamentally reactionary. Um, uh, the, the, the outcome, the end point of this stuff was for, uh, at the time, a couple of years ago during the Gamergate era, uh, when Gamergate tried to go mainstream, uh, Million Dollar Extreme got picked up for uh, distribution and a new program called Million Dollar Extreme World Peace, which was supposed to be an anti-SJW takedown uh, show. Uh, except behind all their winks and nods and nudge nudge was uh, them platforming uh, and, and, and normalizing people like Milo Yiannopoulos and normalizing behind the mask of very thin humor. You know, the thing about, the thing about uh, reactionary humor is, is it can't really deconstruct anything because that's, that's not the point of, of their humor. It's not meta, um, but these guys basically um, wrapped their reactionary views and the trappings of absurdist humor. Um, it's not genuinely satirizing anything. It's just it's just laughing as it as it advocates in earnest for some pretty uh, toxic shit. Um, and since Sam Hyde, uh, as part of Million Dollar Extreme, was called out for the kind of stuff like this that was cut from the mainstream program. Um, which was pretty explicit, explicitly uh, intolerant, and and hate speech type stuff. Um, they were after a few episodes, they were run off the platform for using forbidden alt right memes. And of course, there's nothing more empowering to a reactionary than playing themselves off as victims of some kind of complex conspiracy. So Sam Hyde now sits around on the internet, uh, has a a. a a website where he every so often puts out some uh, supposedly esoteric um, artsy anti-humor that's supposed to be in the tradition of uh, Andy Kaufman or the the uh, Tim and Eric uh, franchise uh, comedy brand, uh, the Neil Hamburger school of anti-jokes. And what happens is is that he he uh, double winks meaning that he uses irony and then uh, doubles back on it into um, being earnest about uh, the victimization of white men and all that stuff by uh, evil intersectional, uh, intersectional uh, feminists. And, you know, there are still people within mainstream edgelord YouTube that still wink and nod to uh, Sam Hyde and uh, Million Dollar Stream, and maybe those people, some of them are Jewish themselves, so I'm assuming that they're not anti-Semites, um, a lot of them reference back to the aesthetic value of MDE, which is like it's horseshit. It's just it's just a way to to uh, keep people from uh, separating the signal from the noise um, of of what uh, Sam Hyde advocates for, what he's saying, um, and it's always bad for comedy to punch down. You know, comedy that punches down is very hard to um, sustain. And it's very hard to be funny when you're punching down on uh, marginalized people. Don't let anybody tell you um, this frat boy shit on YouTube is like mainstream humor, structurally sound, and all that stuff. Because most of most of Sam Hyde's, Sam Hyde's stuff don't even contain basic uh, setups and punchlines. It's just basically um, laugh at this my depiction of this person you already hate. I've talked about that before. That. Memes. The reason that memes have empowered extreme right wingers is that extreme right wingers 
you can't ever be bothered with joke construction because they get too excited and they want to get to uh, disparaging or mocking the group of people that they hate so much. So what the meme does is uh, give a ready-made template of a constructed joke and you just install the person you hate in the meme template. And the other conservatives laugh because of who's in the template, not because of how the joke is, is basically going to be constructed. And that's kind of also why um, when we try to uh, penetrate the world of right-wing humor, it seems highly flat and alienating. And that's because it's not deconstructing or satirizing anything. It's just, it's just, restating, it's just restating with a smirk on its face that it hates this particular group of people and considers itself oppressed by this uh, particular group of people. So that, that's <clears throat> the white genocide stuff uh, gets masked in irony, but a little less so these days. A lot of the, a lot of the modern era alt writers are very, very prudish, uh, sort of Dave's vault, uh, wanting to uh, restore the, the, the uh, era of white Christendom, European uh, Christian rule. And they're very, very like humorless, very, um, you know, the age of, the age of, of cre meme crypto fascism has more or less come to the end. And now uh, Paul, uh, Paul, Sam Hyde is a, uh, a niche quantity, but certainly he's still beloved uh, by the troll army that facilitates um, the, the rise of alt-right culture into the mainstream. And I think it's subversive because I still even have friends who are progressive who stumble upon some a meme and they'll, you know, uh, just kind of, oh, well, I'll use this template for something and then it turns out it was created by an alt-right. So it creates like a, like a conflict when you're trying to um, participate in internet culture because these fuckers are very, very um, online. But make no mistake that Sam Hyde is dead fucking serious about white nationalism.